Hey there, Jay Metcalf here. In today's video, I'm going to be playtesting six different metal tenor saxophone mouthpieces. I'd love to hear your impressions. So after listening to each of the examples, please let me know in the comments section below your impressions. All but one of the mouthpieces I'm gonna play for you are based on or inspired by the classic auto links of the 1950s, but they're all modern versions that you can go out and buy today. In the comments on my last mouthpiece video, lots of people told me they'd like to hear me play the exact same thing for each example so they'd have a better point of reference. So today, I'm gonna to be playing the same exact thing. I'm gonna be playing a transcription of a Michael Brecker solo off of the Horace Silver album, The Hard Bop, Grand Pop. Uh, this is a great album and really every solo on this album is transcription worthy. But this one is a, it's a chorus of a blues off of the song, I've Got the Blues in Santa Cruz. And it's a great example of Brecker playing something that's very uh, approachable. Uh, it's like moderate difficulty, I'd say. So if you're interested in you know exploring his sound and the way he plays, this is a good place to start. I put links in the description below to the beginnings of each of the play tests. So if you'd like to jump around and compare and also to the websites where you can learn more about each of the mouthpieces. Now let's get right into the play testing. <laughs> So this is the Van Doren V16 T7. Uh, it's, they call it the 50s style mouthpiece. I like this mouthpiece. I played in this for a while, but compared to all these other ones here, the problem for me is that it's, it's kind of stuffy. It has great response. I have to say it responds well in the upper register and the lower register, but it feels like just, just something kind of blocking the sound a little bit. So this is my least favorite of all six. Now I'm gonna play on the Filtone Tribute LTD, also a seven star. The ligature I'm using, in case you're curious, is made by my friend Peter Yesen. He makes great mouthpieces and really cool ligatures. Ooh. The reed I'm using for all of these mouthpieces is a Rigotti four medium jazz gold. <laughs> So this, I love this mouthpiece. It's kind of got everything, it's got a great response. It's got crisp articulation. It's got a big fat sound and it has like a wide spectrum of color. Uh, but I would say it's mostly in the low and mediums. It doesn't get very, very bright, but it's still really powerful. So if you want a, like a powerful yet darkish, jazz sound, this is a great option. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna play on this Drake stubby mouthpiece. This is not inspired directly by Otto Link mouthpieces, but it's inspired by the Dukoff mouthpieces from around the same era. I've been told that we're in the same ballpark though, so we are still comparing apples to apples. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay, so this is a great mouthpiece as well. It's interesting to me, it's kind of similar to the color of this Van Doren without the stuffiness, without the kind of filter on the sound. So it's got a really clear and clean response, yet uh, it still has this darkness to it, this um, warmth. So if that's the kind of sound you're looking for, uh, this is in that sort of ballpark, still very responsive in the upper register, lower register, super easy to play and control. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so this is an auto link made by the JJ Babbitt Company. So it's a modern link right off the shelf. I have had it refaced, the refacing only cleaned up the, the table, flattened out the table and even up the rails and the tip so that it's gonna play its best. And I have to say, after the refacing, it does play significantly better. Uh, you know, the reeds, I can get a really t nice seal with the reeds on the mouthpiece and it's just a nicer response. <laughs> This is a great mouthpiece too, especially after being refaced. Um, I, what I like about it is it's got this broad spectrum of sound. You've got the low end, you've got the medium end, and you've got the high end. So uh, I would say it's kind of like a spread out sound. Um, yet still, uh, it's got some focus to it. It also has a very nice edge. It's not super edgy, but it's got a nice sort of edge that I like. Very responsive in all the different registers. The one thing, the one issue I've always had with this mouthpiece, and it's a minor thing, is that if I push a little bit too much air through it, the sound tends to, you know, distort. And, you know, it kind of can't handle a certain amount of air. I'm playing this Selmer 404 silver plated ligature on it. This works very nicely on these. Now I'm gonna play this 100 year anniversary Florida link. This is a new mouthpiece just out this year uh, by the JJ Babbitt company. Uh, it's supposed to be more like a the vintage Florida links. Uh, I had played this and dem demoed it in an earlier video. Uh, since then I've had it refaced again by Phil Engelman. Now it's playing much better. I'm getting a nice seal on the mouthpiece. Uh, before that wasn't the case, uh, so it wasn't so much fun to play. <laughs> Again, it's a slightly different than all the other ones. How, for me, the way it's different from this one, it, it, it's more of a focused sound, uh, less spread, more high end in it, uh, and a little bit faster response than this one. Also, it can take more air than my stock link can. So yeah, a, another really good mouthpiece. Uh, much better after being refaced, however. So I've saved my current favorite mouthpiece uh, for last. The mouthpiece I'm playing on changes from time to time, depending on 
the sound I'm going for, what I'm kind of transcribing, what sort of gigs I'm doing, it's how I feel, right? So this is the Theo Wane Gaia 3 tenor mouthpiece. It's a beautifully made mouthpiece. It comes with this ligature that's attached. I think that's a really great idea. It works fantastic. Let's have a listen and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> So why is this one my favorite at the moment? I have to say, so I'm playing this Michael Brecker transcription uh, as the demo piece. And when I'm playing along with Brecker, I feel like I'm getting much closer to his sound when I'm playing this. It depends if that's the sound you're going for, but in this particular case, trying to play more like Michael Brecker, this is doing it for me more than any of the others. Sound-wise, it's got a full spectrum of sound. It's got lows, it's got highs, it's got the mids, it's got a very, very fat sound with you know, all your frequencies in there. It's got incredibly crisp response and articulation is like, just pops right out. Uh, just an immediate attack on all the notes. You put air through it and you, get a, you just get instant response, which is great. And if you wanna play any you know, more modern sound, uh, yet still have that complexity and 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 multiple dimensions in your sound. This is is doing that. Yeah, I out of all the pieces, I would rate this one to be the easiest to play, the most responsive, and kind of like the most fun. Uh, but I do have to say, it took me a while to get into this mouthpiece because when I first got it, I was like, yeah. Mm. Uh, and I've, that's been the case for a lot of mouthpieces. So your first impressions of mouthpieces uh, aren't always the whole story. You know, you kind of have to live with a certain mouthpiece for a while sometimes to discover, uh, you know, the magic in it. If you'd like to pick up a Theo Wani mouthpiece for yourself, I'm happy to be able to offer you a coupon code to be used on the Theo Wani website. The coupon is BetterSax10. If you use that coupon at checkout, you'll save 10%. Now, if you've got some value out of watching this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Get yourself subscribed to the channel in case you aren't already. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which one of these mouthpieces you prefer. If you've got one of these yourself, let us know uh, your experience with it. Thank you for watching and see you again real soon in another BetterSax video.